Alright, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about layouts and placing objects inside a frame when you're programming in GUI. So, to do this, first of all you need to make a basic frame, and I'll just do that right now. And create a class file inside the frame. Alright, so, now the first thing we do is we just create a basic frame first of all obviously we create our main class alright so in here we create our basic frame so first of all we need to import it and we import javax.swing.star and also we import java.awt because we're also going to need that so, once these two things are imported, what we do next is that we take, we create our frame, so jframe frame is equal to new jframe, and we can call it anything. Alright, so we have a frame, and so we, we do our mandatory stuff to the frame, so just set the size, and we'll make it 500 by 500. That's good enough. Uh, make it visible and lastly we will set the default close operation to jframe dot exit on close okay so all that does is just exits when you click the X button at the top alright now next what we do we we did this also in the last video j panel panel is equal to new j panel last video we left these two brackets blank but this time we're going to put something inside of them now in java to make to uh, arrange things inside a frame we need to make a layout for the panel inside the frame now there's many different panels you can use in java but the most simplest and powerful one in my opinion is the grid bag layout and here I'm going to use the grid bag layout to arrange uh, some labels inside a panel. So all we do is we just put new grid bag layout. All right, we have our new grid bag layout, and we just frame dot add panel. So all we did then is we added the panel to the frame. Now for every grid bag layout we have constraints. Now what constraints are is that the constraints tell the system where to put the label inside the panel. So we, ma we make the constraint ourselves. So I'm gonna make them make it right now. So the constraint is constraint is made by doing this grid bag constraints and it's like just creating an, any other object uh, you can call it whatever you want, I'll just call it C is equal to new grid bag constraints. Alright, so there's our constraint. So constraint is called C. Now, next step is actually creating all the labels. So I'll just create five labels. Okay, so we have our five labels. And now, right now, if you run the program, we're just going to see an empty frame. and sure enough we see an empty frame so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add these labels inside that frame now a grid bag layout works like this I'm going to use paint to show you here you have an axis here okay and say this at the top left is zero zero then this this one right here is zero one zero two zero three zero four so on and down is one zero two zero three zero four zero and so on so you can pinpoint this location as one one so it's just like a basic axis if you're familiar with mathematics graphing and mathematics especially so it's just like that and now what we do is we go back here and 
we can change our constraint so C dot and you can see from this anchor all the way down to weight Y these are all the things we can do with the constraints now simply all we need to worry about is grid X grid Y insets and grid, grid height so we can set grid X grid X means this X coordinate and grid Y means this Y coordinate so we can put the X and Y anywhere we want so for example if we wanted to put the object at 1 1 we would go grid X 1 grid Y 1 and then we'd be done so we can start off by making the first one 0 okay and now whenever you add an object so panel dot add we're gonna add the not only are we gonna add the label 1 we're also going to add C because that's the constraint. So now we added that. And we need to do that every single time for each label. We can go C dot grid X is equal to 1, C dot grid Y is equal to 0. Okay. And we can just keep doing that. C dot grid X is equal to 2, C dot grid Y is equal to 0. And c dot grid x is equal to three, c dot grid y is equal to zero. And lastly, okay, we'll just forget about this label for now. So now if we add this, it should have all our labels right beside each other, right there. Okay, now they're in the middle. So right now our axis is looking like this. It's like that, and the middle is zero zero. So I just added them 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 was here, 0, 2 was here, 0, 3 was here. So it was just like that. So now what we can do is if we want to start off our, our uh, thing at the top right here, like I said before, so this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and we have our whole frame like that so that you can add how many of our objects you want. So, in order to do that, we just go, when we added this, we just go frame dot get content pane, this one, dot add panel, and then border layout dot north. You can do any of them. You can do center, north, south. So, if we do north here, then when we run it, it should all be aligned at the top right there. There you go. Now, we can, and now the last thing you need to know about is C dot insets. Insets is equal to new insets. Now insets, I'm just going to do 10 each. So insets, this is the spacing from the item on the left, spacing from the item on the right, spacing from the item on the top, and spacing from the item on the bottom. That's 10 pixels away. So now if you run it, it's going to be, yeah, so now it's separated more. Now, you can do the same thing and place them on top of each other instead of beside each other. So, we go 0, 0, and we go 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. And now what happens is obviously they're on top of each other. So, that all works out pro pro properly. And last last thing you need to know about grid bag layout is c dot grid width and grid height grid height and grid width i'm not going to show you here but they're basically just you can put them to any amount and all it does is that it makes it so that one of the that one label takes up two of the ax two two boxes in the axis so it's going to take up one one and two one it's going to take up one one two one and three one so like that um, but so we got that done. Um, so you can just play, you can just understand that it's basically like a grid, and you can change the x and y the numbers to whatever you want, so that it fits onto a grid-like system. And the more items you add, the larger the grid gets. So that's what I just wanted to show you. And you can make really complex programs with that. You can even make buttons on there, and this is actually the hardest part of programming 
swing without a visual editor. Um, so we'll, we'll just make a button to show you how it can be added as well. And we can put grid x to 1 and c dot grid y to 3 as well. So it's just going to be beside this test 4 right here. Um, and add this. Now it should be beside that test 4 object. And there you go, to beside, right beside that text, test 4. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to put them in, uh, in a layout. So, um, well, thanks for watching, and I hope this wasn't too hard. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll be happy to answer them, but...